Wake Hamp's work now is dispatched so five days ago or something. Hmm. You notice when I was looking to build a trapper on the last map, it said built one. Presumably that was from me, my basic one upgrading. Gotcha. Prestige. Need more thing to win. Ooh, and I don't get the the blue things. I get a red thing. The red thing is like a temple thing. I've seen it before because I have played Prestige 1 before, one time. All right, anyway. The rain is sticky and tastes like wine. During drizzle season, wine can be reproduced at the rain collector. What? It would be cool to be able to use wine for something though. Parts of Miner's Resolve, starting at 2. Fuel efficiency is 25% lower. Effect scales with hostility? Oh, fuck. <laughs> I wonder how it scales with hostility. Starting at 3. Strong gusts of wind, strike the holy flame. Resources you sacrifice in ancient heart burn 40% quicker. Wait, what? I'm gonna need a lot of, like, uh, a lot of fuel. During the storm, the clean some patience grows 5% faster for every blight rot cyst in your settlement. I haven't even talked about blight rot yet. Strange lights. Villagers with this effect have a 20% chance of destroying the yield with each production cycle. Fulfill the following needs. Services. What is a service? Is it like giving them a cloak? Is that a service? Or is it prayer? Is it like a religious service? Definitely feels like worse modifiers than the first one. I have courage going for prestige this early. <laughs> Whatever. I just don't mind losing. In fact, I find losing to be quite enjoyable. Oh, services are religion slash luxury slash parole. Okay. What's this? Forsaken altar. I can now say you are not allowed to subscribe with Twitch Prime. All of your support must be done in bits. But it will make my viewership angry at me. That's what this panel says. I am turning off subscriptions to the channel. All of you must now watch 10 minutes of ads per hour. Am I a losing enthusiast? Possible. Losing is just more fun than winning on average. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight small clearings near me. Each clearing that I open is like, it's like 30 hostility or something though. So that's a hell of a lot of hostility to open them all. And it doesn't feel like they give me that much. Maybe I'll just open these two and then open these two big ones. That gives me some decent space to work with and hopefully gives me a good smattering of resources. I have some leech broodmothers who make meat and leather. Is that all I have? I don't think there's anything else here. Oh, these. They were hiding. A reed field. I don't know what you use reed for. It says crafting. I don't really know what that means. 
B is the hotkey for resource overlay. Ah, helpful. E, Z. Slowly I am learning. What is X? Nothing. C, nothing. Kind of irritating. Uh, I will probably want two woodcutters camps again. Like starting with two woodcutters camps is kind of normal. Uh, do I want to turn off consumption of anything right now? I don't have any of it. I guess it doesn't matter then. What about the basic food? I could tell people not to eat some of the raw food. There's probably some reason to do that, but I don't know what it is, and so I'm just not gonna not gonna worry. Let's look at what the first selection is here at least. Plantation or herb garden, smokehouse for jerky. I think both of these use jerky. So we could make jerky pretty early. Okay. I'm not gonna look at the other ones until I have Uh, where's the queen thing? Where's the queen thing? The queen? Hello? I think they show up a quarter of the way in, so probably after one minute the first one of them shows up. I don't know. Anyway, uh... Let's open these two and see what we've got going for us. Two of control, shift, and alt. Well, alt does something. I don't know what the other thing is meant to do. Start harvesting meat as well. I wonder which way this is meant to face. I'm gonna guess that way, based on the extremely little. Control shift. I still don't see control and shift doing anything. Just put a human there. I have no beavers this time, so it doesn't really matter who's doing this, other than that lizards should be doing this part. And let's place a few more roads. It's safe to assume that these are going to want to be built at some point. A real science. I wonder if it's like actually kind of bad to overproduce food early because of the chance of getting one of those events with the living things that eat all of your food. It feels like it might be. But on the other hand, what else am I going to do right now? Hmm. I suppose one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make the crude workstation. It feels like I'm always making the crude workstation, basically. But I do need more resources before that is built. Age of Empires PvE. Interesting. That's a really interesting way to frame it. It has randomness in it. So, like it has screens like this, for example, with relics and things. These are basically relics from Slow the Spire. So I'd say it's a bit more like a roguelike than Age of Empires is, but framing one game of this as being kind of similar to playing one game of Age of Empires is like, if Age of Empires were a single player game, it like kind of works a little bit, a tiny bit. Is there anything wrong with villagers leaving here? I don't think so. I might just take more villagers. 
and assume that I probably can't actually keep up with them, then it makes forest hostility awful and stuff, but just lose like three or four per storm and it's just okay. <laughs> you gain impatience. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh yeah, I remember now. That would be like one impatience per year. Oh, that's kind of bad. Okay, maybe maybe I can't handle this many people. Maybe I just take this. This makes me lots of money. I think they're both pretty good early, early options. I'm like Skyrim, except completely different. It is a lot similar to something that isn't Skyrim, yeah. All right, what are these? Build a harvester's camp, stone cutter's camp, and assemble 10 bricks, and I get three parts? That's pretty... Like one, I'm going to do this anyway. Two, three parts, hello? Oh, but I haven't unlocked Harvester's Camp yet, so I would have to get a Harvester's Camp from my blueprints. I don't have one in the first one that I looked at. But still, I'm going to look at 12 blueprints. I should be able to find one, right? What's next? Open two glades, rebuild or salvage ruins. I've had exactly this before. Open four glades. Uh... I think that this is a lot more interesting to me. Get five tools. Gives me ten of every simple resource, I guess. Lizard resolve above 15 for 30 seconds. That is going to take so long to do. I wonder how quickly I could do that if I really tried. What is it at right now? Three. <laughs> so, so like, housing, I can't even build their specific housing. So housing gets me to six. Jerky would get me to ten. The skewers. I, I mean, this is, this is not happening anytime soon, I don't think. Blizzard Resolve takes about two minutes. Really? I'm not looking for backseating here, FLFX. I'm going to take this stop set, yeah? Alright. I used preferential treatment. Preferential treatment. This is all I have. I don't. Lighter treatment. Oh, shit. Oh, that would be how to do it. Oh. Oh, that would have been pretty easy. Okay. Coal deposit, stone deposit, and a herb node. So I don't have the herbalist's camp yet. Um, I needed better fuel. I think I probably want a coal mine. I, think I probably want a coal mine. There's two coal deposits here. And it's like kind of close to my warehouse. I think I put a mine there for sure. Okay. Yeah, that would have made it so much easier to generate a bunch of resolve at the end of last run if I'd realized it existed. B to C all no. Right. Still have buildings to look at? Yes. I guess I could do that now. Mm 
berries and plant fiber. I don't think I want a plantation. I'm gonna take the one that makes good jerky. Skewers and biscuits are also things that I use. Better planks, tools, and luxury goods. This is like kind of powerful. It does a lot of things that I want to be able to do, right? And I can build it pretty much immediately and benefit from it because it improves my planks production straight away. Skewers, biscuits, pigment. I'm probably going to have access to basically everything I need because I don't even have much stuff um, unlocked yet. Scribe, Weaver, Smelter, Brewery. This game kind of reminds me of Puerto Rico. A little bit. A board game. Scrolls and Aeol. I don't think I care. Fabric, Training Gear, Packs of Trade Goods. I could go copper bars and just make tools and win with tools. That would be kind of easy. And this would let me make biscuits, which I can't currently make. Oh, and I'm going to be making um, the weird water stuff because I'm going to make wine, I think. Although I still don't know what you use wine for. <laughs> Um, but having a building that could make crystallized dew out of my water droplets would be good as well. I don't know. Feels like one of these two. I don't have any copper yet, so maybe I'll just go for the weaver. Maybe on Pilgrim difficulty, the glade on my right always choose Captain. Good grief. I don't know what any of the words that you just said meant. I think I know what difficulty means. Other than that, I'm struggling. Uh, okay. We want to make planks and fabric and bricks. I don't want to make, like, tons of them at the moment, though. You like how you can smelt biscuits? Yeah, I mean, you know how we invented microwaves? I'm trying to force a Puerto Rico comparison. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. Kind of need a builder still. probably comes up here. Is there a hotkey for building a road? Road comes up here, actually? More stone, some veggies. Gives me clay sometimes. Interesting. <laughs> You're welcome, Ropas. It's a fun game, huh? With all this access to stone, maybe I should build stone roads. An interesting thought. Let's have both of these to avoid glades right now. What do the ram heads mean? These are clearings which have spooky things in them. 
so we'll have to like send workers to repair a factory that's about to explode or something like that. And while we do it, we will have some negative consequences for our people. I can't make fabric. I can't make bricks. I guess I'll make planks then. <laughs> Fair enough. Yes, they are dangerous, but they are also rewarding. Does moving it like that mess up the AI of the workers? Because I just do that all the time, and I like maybe shouldn't be, I don't know. Food seems to be trending slightly downward. I feel like I should not be eating mushrooms. I don't know what food I'm meant to be eating. I have no idea. I, I actually feel like I shouldn't be eating meat, honestly. I think meat and eggs combine to something that I like to make, really. Don't remember what. Just feel like they do. Skewers? Skewers don't have eggs in them, do they? Jerky is just meat and wood. Maybe I should make jerky. Like, now. Does that- hold on. Does that turn less basic resource into more food? I think it does. I would make that here. sure if the info you want to provide is backseating. You do not need to provide info to me. Okay, pick the carpenter building and I'll start making planks not in the carpenter building. Well, I need to make enough planks to build the carpenter building. The carpenter building requires five planks. So, like, I can build this, and I will build it, but I do have to make some planks first so that I can actually do that, you know? Why am I ignoring basic houses? I wouldn't say that I'm ignoring them. I just haven't built them yet because I'm doing other things. You're not aware that building stuff required materials. That is the tricky part, yeah. I feel like my woodcutters are walking a very long way. I don't think I need these over here anymore. Let's put these here now. Lizard men will become negative happy during the storm. It's okay. They're sturdy creatures. Did you make planks yet? Did you make planks yet? Hold on. Here. I think the I can't. I can't tell. Where is everything? There's two there. There's two there. So I think the answer is no. We didn't make the planks yet. Stone? Stone cutters can? Eventually go there. I am 
absolutely messing up my woodcutters when I do that. Oh well. The storm approaches. So supposedly I can just do that. Uh, and then I can put like a lizard on the hearth. Seems completely fine. It's kind of ludicrous that you can just toggle that whenever you want at no cost. That like <laughs> it doesn't doesn't make any lore sense at all and it's just like a micro management mechanic basically. Thank you, Mormonator and friends. There are more hearthstones in this game than there are in Hearthstone. Yeah, well. Is having a lizard to work at the hearth a block card? Also work. This button. So powerful. Such a powerful button. Wow. Too strong, maybe? Maybe too strong. I can't build this because I do not have any of the things that are required for building it. <laughs> I have built this. I would like somebody to work here, like, eventually, to make planks. And I don't want to make planks here anymore. Oops. There is cost and inhabitants getting demoralized. You're asking, is there cost in inhabitants getting demoralized, or stating there is cost in inhabitants getting demoralized? Copper bars seem kind of like they're regularly useful later. Um, do I like lizards? I don't know. Maybe. My settlement is mostly li lizards at the moment. The humans. I okay, mostly want the beaver. Do you do phrasing? Um, anyway. Lizards a race. I'd be calling them species. Which has felt like the right way to do it to me, but I don't know. <sighs> Another thing to do is look at this. Rich glades. Newly discovered resource nodes have more charges. That seems nice. Rigorous training has made your scouts exceptionally efficient for every five villagers with the need for brawling fulfilled. The chance of bringing back twice as many goods from events increases by plus 20%. That is so many different numbers. Five brawling, which I'm going to say is a number. Twice events. That's also a number. 20%. Another number. I'm going to take one with fewer numbers. I was just intimidated by it, that's all. The top side of the screen is blurry. Oh yeah, the very top is, you're right. I think it's just like under the interface anyway, so... Doesn't really matter. Uh, I have me people, yeah? I have two lizards and two humans with nothing to do. I am going to open this pretty soon. I would like plank production. Uh, it still costs five wood per plank there. I would kind of like houses as well. 
So maybe we get started on those. I need... That money. Subspecies sounds derogatory. What about extension of a species? This is kind of miserable. <laughs> it's taking a long time to open that. Too long? Maybe too long. What's going on here? We're upset. We don't have any ability to do any of this stuff. I'll let you make bricks. I need somebody actually working the Stonecutter's Camp. Doesn't matter who lizards it is. I have the option avoid glaze turned on. You're right. You're right. Happens here. Fuel is bad. Fuel is worse. Weird. Like none of these really make my resolve lower. It just makes my fuel really bad. So this might be a pretty easy run resolve wise, but then I have to... I mean, if I just make coal and I use that as fuel, it should be fine. I don't see why not. Marking trees, you can use shift to reduce the template to one tree at a time. Cool. That is a useful trip, thank you. More orders. 10 cloaks. Or 50 meat. 50 meat shouldn't be hard to do. Five lizards. 10 cloaks also isn't super hard to do. I will at some point want to do that, and it gives me five parts. And parts are okay. I don't know how much I need to worry about parts. Last time I like kind of started to run out of them, but I also built more stuff than I really needed to last time. I think I'll go for the lizards. Do they do the laundry in this game? Maybe. 20 coal and 12 packs of building materials. Wildfire, Essence, Tools, and Cloaks. Luxury Goods, Trade Goods, and Amber. It takes a while. Oh shit, I completely forgot about the Trade Post. <laughs> Just utterly and totally forgot that I had to build that. Um, Maybe we build that. I don't... That doesn't seem like the right place to build it, right? You build it out here or something? That's just... There's no way that this is possibly the right place. This is plenty close to the warehouse. Is there fighting in this game? Uh, you can't, like, control your units by selecting them and telling them to do stuff like you can in a game like Age of Empires. It is not that sort of game. Hey, Barish! on the laundry. Alright, I opened that. It took me like three minutes. I have ten minutes until 
All of my stored amber and wine is lost, and I gain one impatience point, which honestly is not that bad. I get minus six global resolve for every 10 amber while working on it, which is also like not a very big deal. I need 30 incense, 12 tools. I, I do not have those things. <laughs> those are not things that I have. All right, so that's fun. Um, is there some way for me to get those things? salvage a building in here it's more coal what happens when I complete this glade get five ancient tablets if I want 20 amber um I don't I don't I'm not going to do that anytime soon Maybe the trader will help. I should up my brick limit to 10 because I need 10 for this quest anyway. Impatience point isn't the end of the world, right? <laughs> oh shit, what happens if I don't do it after 10 minutes? Like, well, it'll probably take less than 10 minutes for the next one to hit. Maybe that's what I need to be worried about. My people are generally working. Possibly harder than they need to be. I'm just feeling like maybe I should have another builder. How's my stone? Where does one even see that? I do need the stone cutters. Hmm. This is number one, prestige one. So we can upgrade this at some point. And it'll have more coal in it. Currently it has 60 coal in it. I'm not gonna man it yet. Someday though. What do the trees give me? They all give me extra stuff, right? That <laughs> one gives me meat. Uh, weird. Oh shit, meat. I did it. I did the thing. I got 25 coal, 5 lizards. There you go. That's actually huge. Now I have some extra workers. It'll be my first way to make skewers and biscuits, both of which I'd like to be able to make. I also want a small farm, but I don't have any farmland yet, so like, it doesn't seem like a huge priority. Just take this. Now that I have more creatures, it would probably be nice to grab a smokehouse for jerky. Does everybody eat jerky? No. But almost everybody eats jerky. It would also be nice to not have you abandoning the city. Need to build three more. It's silly. 
This is silly. This is a silly mechanic. There's got to be a better way to do that. Squeaks, thanks for the 59 months. Appreciate it. Hey DJ Big Slice. How would you describe this game compared to Civ 6? You got a tattoo on your collarbones yesterday. That's cool. Does that hurt? I feel like that would be one of the painful places. That collarbone pain is also not pain that I experience very often. Hmm. Trader arrived, Zorg. Zorg, would you like to sell me ways to deal with this event? Look at all the beautiful packs of provisions that I can give you. I have 9.6 gold worth of packs of provisions. Yeah, that's not enough. <laughs> this is not enough. Uh, how many tools do I need here? Tools seem like the most accessible way. Unless you have... Oh, I could do it with 20 oil. Oh, that's super doable. Okay. Okay, we got it. This, ladies and gentlemen, viewers of the world, of any gender description, is uh, the beauty of trade. Could buy a small farm, gain three incense for every ten roots produced. That's kind of cool. I do not have any root production that I know of. So, I don't have any amber anyway, so like all I have to do is just clear this before it kills me. So we should just send two people to go do it. I suppose. Ouch, delicate friend. Press to activate danger. I think I'm just sending to capital? I don't know. How much should I care about this stuff? Probably like quite a lot. I can turn this into tools really easily, which will give me more prestige than this. Or reputation rather than this. So just like, do I want the 20 amber? It feels like I can sell the provisions that my villagers are bringing in. So I don't really need it. What is that? I'd kind of like to gather that. I want to gather it so it's out of the way, so that it stops irritating me, <laughs> which, which is perhaps not a solid strategic approach to the game. But shit, if it works, it works. Um, I need to stop people from eating meat. They've already been stopped from eating meat. Okay, I just gave it all away for a quest, right? That's where it's all gone. Hmm. Do I want to use wood or coal? Five wood versus one coal. One coal burns for as long as four wood. So I'd actually kind of like to use coal. I can... Hold on. Oh, I know how to do this. That's now priority one and that's priority two. Okay. Uh, I'm not building incense at the moment, but someday I could. I'm not currently building pottery, but I could later, and it could be used to put ale in, yeah? And then I want a lizard in this, and we have jerky. Jerky is being produced. And I want to turn all of the meat that I harvest into jerky. I wonder what my production cycle is like on this meat. Also, do I have other meat? I'm going to run out of that. Uh oh, that's a bit concerning. What is that? Reed field? I forgot about that. That was in my like starting setup. How hard is it to build another warehouse? 
second hearth. I want to chop these trees, but I don't want to have to carry them all the way back here. So I want to build another warehouse first. I might as well build another hearth if I'm doing that, I think. understand how my roads work. I don't think it matters that much. And then my hearth goes like here or something, just vaguely out of the way. Facing this way, I've learned that last time. Still need a harvester's camp to complete this. I need to rebuild a ruin to complete that. I need five simple tools to complete this. I could do that right now. I could end the trader left. Whoops. I need to run the mine. Wait, who's good at that? Beavers are good at that. But I don't have any of those. Is this playing all the resources in the game up top, or are there more that are head on? This is all of my resources. You can delete nodes? Seems a bit extreme. Okay. I would describe my resolve as low. That didn't fix my problem. <laughs> and we might just be losing some people here. And even like, will we lose people? Like really? I don't even know. Is not good at engineering, they enjoy it, so they get plus resolve, not extra production channel. Okay. That is a different thing. If I lower hostility, does it even do anything? I don't feel like it actually does anything. wood for this? Like, that's a fucking lot of wood. 20 coal. Per minute. Like, how much do I actually care about these people? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We have access to decorations, we do, and I keep on forgetting to build them. Oh. 
if you'd finish those really at any moment. Where are you going? <laughs> they are definitely going to the other construction. Why did Lizard Resolve just go up? Went from negative four to negative three, and I don't know why. Oh, it's kind of broken. I think that's actually OP. All right, easy. They probably should put a cooldown on favor and also like on that thing that I just did. The like whatever bullshit I just managed to do by toggling that on and off. Because once it got above two for the lizards, it took a really long time to get to zero again. Anyway, we survived the storm. Look at us. Let's move this somewhere new. I bet I'm gonna get more beavers. Yes, yes, I want that. Hidden reward. One ancient tablet for every two completed glade events or a shady but lucrative deal. 10 amber every time a villager dies or leaves. I feel like hidden reward will be stronger here. I don't feel like I'm going to have money. Villagers die or leave. I'm just I'm just getting a good vibe from this run. Um So generally speaking, eating jerky is better than eating meat because I get much more jerky per meat than I would otherwise. So I do want people eating jerky. How much meat do I have? 20. I have two humans and two lizards to do something with. They could just like build this for me, but I need... Oh, interesting. The stonecutter's camp has run out of stone, but it didn't tell me because there's the stone over here. But yeah, I should move it and that will work a lot faster. All cooked food gives more value than raw food. What about sushi? Sushi is pretty good. I'll have two more lizards here eventually, and I will have a whole bunch of ancient tablets and shit. That'll be good. I kind of want to cut my way into here. It feels kind of like I'm wasting time, honestly. Feels like there must be things I could do that were better than what I am currently doing. Not the most erudite observation. Okay, let's go into here. I would like those cuts still. Eh. Doing good work here, though. We'll get there eventually. Looks like a fun game. Game is sweet. Most OP skill in this game is being able to freely move all your buildings. Ah, uh, it's too strong. <laughs> Just straight up too strong. Shouldn't be able to do that. Although, it would kind of break the entire game if you couldn't. Uh, I have enough planks. So you don't want to make planks anymore? That's what's going on here? Yeah. 
I'm sure you do understand. Let's make some simple tools. Um, this costs five wood, so... Wait, no, this costs two and a half wood. So it's like basically the same. Guess I'll just use wood then. Don't really need you to ever stop doing that. That I'll complete this quest. A land, I think, for the 50 months. Have I won this game yet? I have. We're playing in kind of the ascension mode now, basically. Well, I don't know. What does winning this game mean, I guess? There are a few things that that might mean. How am I doing on meat? Am I going to run out of that soon? I'm going to run out of that very soon. Maybe I should open some of these. And look for more meat. Because I have only 23 and I'm using it to make skewers and stuff. Let's open this first and then I'll open small clearings if I need to. Because small clearings do their 15 hostility every time. There is definitely some downside to opening them. That was 8 wood versus 5 wood. 5 wood, 8 wood. Oh, you're right. Look at you. <laughs> I don't I don't quite know what happened to my brain there. But it did not do the math right, that's for sure. I tried slice and dice. Yeah. I played some slice and dice. Is this working? I didn't make the decorations again. I don't know where to put them. They're so ugly. I'll put them out here and they'll just get in the way. That's fine. They're free to move later? Oh. oh, I didn't realize that. Okay, cool. I should build them next to the things then. Oh shit, I forgot. You can upgrade things again. Because I got the neighborhood. Four aesthetics decorations. The garden counts as four. And one more person living here. Oh, I got one more person living here. I don't know. I wonder if I can upgrade it and then move the people somewhere else. I probably won't let that happen at home. Um. More barrel. I want that tree. You will need a worker to get it for you. I want this entire building relocated. It happens instantly. Yeah, it is very strange. It is 100% very strange. More orders. Human resolve. 30 resolve on humans. Seems kind of hard. Open three caches. I'm 100% going to open three caches this game. Okay. Because I'm already building tools. 30 spark to you. Sell 35 goods. That's pretty easy. Kiln and 40 coal. Better brick production. Three wildfire essence? Wildfire essence is kind of sweet. Let's do this. I want to get lots of wildfire essence. That just sounds fun. Um, I should build a spark to you collector then. The 
crude workstation is not doing anything. Kind of unsurprising. Because I just picked up a bunch of stuff from that event at the Glade, right? Um, yeah, well, let's not do anything here then. Can I move it or delete it? I need to make bricks sometimes still, I think. It can be moved for free. Put it down here. Can this be moved for free? No. I want to make um, a weaver for better fabric. And I'll put the rain collector next to it. And I still need bricks, so I'll still use this for bricks. But at the moment, I have tons of bricks for a while. Interesting dwarf fortress mod, isn't it? Kind of sweet. This would just work a lot better if I put it here. And this way it's right next to the warehouse. Is this working? This is working. Is this working? This needs one more person living here. This is global resolve plus two. So if I put this over here, this is now a neighborhood. 10% global production speed. Well, that's pretty good. But I lost to two global resolve. But I could turn it back on at any point by teleporting a house magically over here again. <laughs> That's so dumb. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is a great game, but that is so dumb. Uh, Alright, what's this? In six minutes, it will kill a bunch of villagers. I have packs of provisions I can give to it. I need to do it soon enough to not have all my villagers die, I guess. Uh, but it's a pretty pretty easy one. I found more meat, which is good. More stone. A lot of these. Lots and lots and lots of broccoli. Did it give me anything? Um, scrolls, pottery, wildfire essence. More wildfire essence. I think I'll just send it. I don't know. How big a deal is wildfire essence? I need one of those to make a hearth. So it isn't not a big deal. I currently have exactly one of them, but I think I was getting more from a reward for something. This, two more, and three more for that. I don't think I spend it on anything else. So currently I can build five more hearths, six more hearths just from that. I don't think I need more. Scrolls and pottery is probably okay. I'll just send it to the Citadel though. Houses on wheels are a thing. Houses on wheels are a real thing. There are dozens of us. Is it Michael Bluth? Is that what? Is that who Tobias is talking to? In that quote? I don't know. There are dozens of us! I would like to build... Right. I do want to build a hearth down here. A hearth. A warehouse. A road. Right now, it'll do that. And we'll get rid of the trees eventually, and then we can build it properly. It's kind of irritating. At what point do the zombies attack? Two minutes. I need to actually have someone running the spark do you maker. 
beaver would be good at this. I don't have any beavers. I need someone actually weaving. I don't have anyone who's good at that either. do it, I guess. Kind of fun that all the Hold the Fort missions from Warcraft 3 became their own game. Warcraft 3 had some pretty cool mods. Not gonna lie. I just realized that this warehouse is bigger than this warehouse. I guess that, like, has no particular relevance to anything, but I did not realize that that was the case. Just need... Oh shit, I'm out! Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Oh no I'm not. I'm not. It just has to be delivered. I'm very nearly out of these though. Can I make more? Yes. If I make a harvester's camp, I will get more. Yeah, I did it. Deliver. I also get more if I open three caches in the forest. That's my blueprint. Herbalist's camp. I think I needed that for... Nope, I need a harvester's camp. Shoot. Uh, that's sad. I need a herbalist's camp for harvesting all the stuff I have. Like this, right? No, that's not even true. Those are vegetables. What would a herbalist's camp do right now? These? Okay. Okay, there's a couple of things. I already have one. Okay, I think I take it to upgrade the one I already have. Yeah, built to zero. Is this a herbalist camp? It's a small herbalist camp. Someone said it would say I had built one. I will pick that. Supposedly it upgrades. It did upgrade. Okay, cool. How many more charges does this have? Two. How's the laundry been going? <laughs> I would prefer not to respond to that question. Small trapper's camp has no... We're out of meat, but I just found more meat. Glorious day. I'm building an entire hub just for harvesting those two meat things. the storm. I did not prepare for this in any way whatsoever. Uh, like, literally n in no way did I prepare for this. It just kind of happened and I wasn't even thinking about it. Let's move this over here. The zombies have arrived. Hey, I did it. I did the, the quest thing. Pretty go me. Oh, I did find a field, so maybe it would have been worth it to pick up the farm. I didn't even think about that because I didn't realize I'd found uh, farmland. Which it turns out that I had. How's my wood doing? It's doing okay. I'm burning coal here, presumably. This red bar is from this stuff, which is showing me that I'm not in any danger whatsoever yet, which is good, I guess. I need more people to actually make my neighborhoods bigger. To move this out of the way. Oh, 
much stone do I have? 65. I wonder if it would be worth it to build stone paths instead of regular paths at this point. If I have that much stone and I'm not using it for anything else, I don't really see why not. I'm about to lose a beaver, but I could lighter treatment beavers. And then I could turn it off again. Okay, very easy. What's the hotkey for Blight Bot? That one is Z or Z. For a lot of boomers, 28 plus. That's not what a. That's not. <laughs> I'll personally attack. Uh, I want this part, so I'm going to take that over the other stuff, I think. I would like three beavers, but that's fine. Do they live here? Let's move this over here. Now that gives me some more global resolve. Um, I don't have enough population for this as well though, do I? I have three more. So I could... I wonder where my builders are. If I am going to build another shelter, I wonder where I should place it. I'm going to place it there. Optimus. Hostility is reduced by 15 points every time you sell goods worth 25 amber. What? Can I do that? Can I make goods? I could probably make goods. I didn't read what the other one was. Hey, ST, how are you? Um, What goods should I sell? Fabric? Fabric sells for a bit. More mushroom production, more building storage, a trapper's camp. An advanced camp for trappers. Kind of like that. Oh, ancient tablets. I can sell these. Yo! How much hostility is that going to get rid of? 30 or something? Because I'm also going to sell like a bit of fabric, because why not? I'm actually kind of low on fabric stuff. I'll sell all these, though. What shall I buy? Maybe I just wait for the next trader to show up. That was sweet. 19, 18, and 10. I could just buy all of these. Am I making mushrooms? Do I have any mushrooms? I have not made a single mushroom at any point. Pretty sure I have never made a mushroom. Uh, this might not be worth clicking on, then. But that one seems good. First stream stateside. Hey, sir, that's all. Welcome to the state. I'm doing pretty well. It is drizzling. I would like to open this up now. Put that over there and put this here. Oh. Supposedly, I can make a single. Uh, I have how many? One, two, seven, eight. I have eight idle workers. My other. Other... 
What do I do with eight idle workers right now? I could probably mine more stuff. That seems fine. Smokehouse seems to be doing okay. I could do more ring collecting. That's kind of free. What if I, um... Actually, how much wood do I have? This is a, like, much more difficult run for wood, so I think I'm going to build another woodcutter's camp. It does cost me more parts, but I think that's okay. make 30 spark to you. I will get trade and industry done. I'm still waiting on the harvester's camp to show up. I still haven't found any ruins to rebuild. All of my coal is gone. Whoops. I haven't made any packs of building materials. Yeah, I think I definitely needed another, another three choppers. Have we tried talking to the storm? You can. You can try. Give it a go. See what happens. Trader arrived Sehilda. That already happened. Why, what was the noise I just heard? I thought the noise was telling me something had happened. Apparently it was not. Just check how much stone I have. 67 stone. All right. That's probably 67-ish. There are only three genders, humans, beavers, and lizards. <laughs> Glad someone's brave enough to say it. This is an interesting observation. So this woodcutter's camp is creating all sorts of weird stuff because I'm in the mode where trees give different things, depending on which tree it is. And so that means that they're filling up faster, which means they're having to deliver more often, which means that there's more value in having them close to a warehouse. I'm pretty sure all of the things I just said are true and make sense. 15 people live here, 9 people live here, 3 people live here. I did build all my houses. Concerned about for hostility? I guess I'm not that concerned. How much meat do I have? I still don't have that much meat, and like all of my eating is kind of reliant on it. I still don't have anything that can harvest this. And that requires a forager's camp, and this requires a harvester's camp? God. Is one of the meta progression upgrades making those um, making those like automatically unlocked? I've kind of done my laundry. I need to put it in the dryer, but I don't want to run the dryer while everyone's watching. All these woodcutters camps. What have we got? We got this one again. I remember this one. I can't do it this time either. <laughs> Ancient artifacts. Plus three to global resolve. Well, that's kind of good. 
I think we take this one for sure. However, as I cannot do this at all, I don't really need to worry about it yet. How's this working? I have plenty of that. I have plenty of these. What if more people worked at this building? That would maybe be a good idea. Have I done the dishes? Not today. Oh, I found lots more meat too. 90 charges of meat, that's really good. A provisioner. I remember provisioner being pretty useful. Pack of provisions. Barrels and flour. Okay, I mean, maybe not the most useful at the moment, but cool. I'm starting to understand a lot more about the flow of the game. Feels like. How's your spark doing going? You're making wine for me. Oh, great, thank you. I don't really want that because this is about to eat all of the wine. Call immediately? Call immediately. What do we think? Call immediately? 9.28 and this is going to eat all of my wine and amber in 9.13. I think I call it after the storm. I call the trader and I'll be ready for it then. The way I'm probably going to end up doing this... Okay, there are two ways. One is I finish making enough simple tools. I have one building that does that. It won't take that long to do it. Wait, I just need to deliver them. Oh. Oh, I'm silly. Okay. The way I do it is I just walk over to it and do it. <laughs> that seems to be the answer. I will need more people available, though. And I will need to switch these. Okay. Okay, awesome. The dishes is kind of nice. Yeah, I enjoy those tasks. Just like a different mode of... It's just a different vibe. I don't know. There's no way to get rid of amber, is there? Like, I can't just throw it out. Because I'm getting... I'm getting... pinged by the event for having amber. I'm getting pinged minus 12 for it. Okay. I'm just gonna call the trader so I can get rid of it. It does cost me impatience though. I still have bricks. I have more bricks than before. I haven't made bricks for a very, very long time. Some other stuff I can do with Amber, but spoilers prohibit sharing. I appreciate you not spoiling. Much more fun to let me find things out on my own, I think. Mystery goods. Okay. I have seven incense. I wonder how. Do I want to sell more shit? Wait a second. Can I, like, sell amber for amber? To abuse that, um, thing here. Oh, I can. That's a bit silly. <laughs> I'm 
mysterious box full of surprises contains a small number of goods and one uncommon perk. I like perks. Perks are fun. Click on it, maybe? I think it's probably better to do this. This shouldn't be allowed, though. <laughs> like, this should very clearly not be a thing that you can do. Observe as the hostility of the forest drops. Okay, eventually they do run out of amber. I don't know if that like makes it any better though. Plus one to bricks production. Cool. Haven't done that a single time in the last very long while. Alright. Excellent stuff. What's this? Choose an order. Some cloaks or some trade goods. Can I make trade goods? I can make them in the weaver. I want to make cloaks though anyway. Just make cloaks. Where do I make cloaks? Where do I make wait, can I make cloaks? Hold on. I might not be able to make those. I can't make those. Wait. Oh, they're called coats. I... Still can't make them, though? Huh. Maybe I should have picked something that I could actually do instead of picking something that I couldn't do. <laughs> it's hard to say for sure. Oh, well. That's fine. a lot longer to build the paved roads, huh? Also, I've probably used all of my stone now. Nope, I have more than before. <laughs> Life is so weird. If you win by victory points, can you win while the town is on fire as long as you complete a win condition? Yes, you can. You definitely can. I have trade and industry done. Gives me traders arrive quicker, builders can carry more items, wildfire essence. Okay. There are no workers, it's true. Mm, I guess I don't need so many people at the stonecutters camp. Having one worker is not much better. This building is awesome. I fucking love this building. This building is great. I'm getting the crystallized dew just from the tree, I think. I think they just have crystallized dew on them. And then that turns into tools and then I can open all the caches on the map. I should be looking at these and seeing if I actually want any of them. Do I need to, like, uh, uh, yeah, probably. Oh, that noise. That was a spooky noise. do. I mean, I wouldn't do this because it would be the dumbest thing in the entire world, so I would never do 
this, like this is just the grass. <laughs> that's so dumb. Oh my god, that's dumb. Alright, anyway. Yeah, that'll work. Reasonable value for 10 wood. Those don't cost wood to move. These move for free. Oh, those move for 10 wood. Oh, shit. Okay. Wait, is that... I think that might be a difficulty setting thing. Huh. I wonder if it's a difficulty setting thing. All of my coal is gone. As Alice thinks about 30 months. Appreciate it. We did it. We made a Forsaken Crypt. Also, I just got a thing that gives everybody plus three resolve. I have a... Okay, we're a wee way away from humans. Being super happy just yet, but we're getting there. Let's take the fabric, probably? Oh, I need beavers, actually, for chopping. Oh. I have seven people right now. Leisure can do extra things. Green farming. I don't have either of these and don't really intend to. I don't think. I guess if I get a farm, the grain farming might be eventually relevant, but it would be like not anytime soon. Nice beavers, thank you. Suddenly I have seven people. What shall they do? I don't know. I gotta open some caches. I wonder if any of these have really sweet stuff in them. Is that it? Is there a hotkey to see all caches somehow? 15% trader speed? Hmm. Let's do this. Lupacruto, thanks for the 14 months. There definitely wasn't a cost at some point because I checked before I like started doing it and there wasn't a cost. So I've probably spent like 100 plus wood on that this run. I'm glad that it works that way instead of the way I thought it worked because the way I thought it worked was kind of ludicrous. I like there are so many um, just regular clearings in this one. I'd like to open this, I think. Think. So, how do I find a woodcutter's camp? This one. This one's not doing much. Let's move it here. Let's chop these. Fell all trees is good. You'll also clear that for me, which would be nice. Because that still is irritating me. It wasn't a cost because it wasn't a completed building. They have been other times when I've checked it. I don't know. Fractal Magpie, thanks for the 44 months! <laughs> the kind of cash, and if there are others of that same type, you can scroll between them. Oh, but it's only like, there are three different types, yeah? So it doesn't quite work. Have I still not found ruins? I have found ruins. So I could finish this task. That seems like a reasonable thing to do right now. Also, I have more population, so I can build... I have five more people who need houses. All right. I'm coming up with some stuff to do.
I'd just like to say, like, my base, extremely aesthetically pleasing. Beautiful? I don't, I don't want to get out of line here, but beautiful, maybe? It's just a word that comes to mind. You see this, this little thing with the path here? That's actually from ancient Greece. That's called the Golden Rule. Oh, thank you, sassy waifu. This again? <laughs> Holy shit. I have scrolls for it this time. I kind of have a lot of traders. Or a lot of amber or whatever. Uh, I'm good with one prestige, I think. This feels like I won already. Is that like completely ludicrously out of line? I don't know. Feels like I already won. A way too dank path. Yes. That's the original Greek word. That woodcutter doing the walk I just watched was very painful to me. Alright, we're about to do Lost in the Woods. Which gets me a bunch of cool stuff. And another reputation point. A temple. Do I have... Tavern. Mm -hmm. No idea. Tavern gives plus three global resolve. I had that last time. I can't make ale. Actually, I just have training gear at the moment. So when I built that, my lizards would be really happy for a while. But did run out of happiness. Looks like I have 23 of the resource for um, religion. I don't know where it's coming from. Oh, I think it's coming from the trees. I think the the Gleeman's Tales is stronger than the Sacrament of the Flame for what I'm doing at the moment, so I'm going to take the tavern, and I'm going to build it immediately. Blade event completed, plus one reputation. I don't know what's going on. Do I need a forager's camp? I need a harvester's camp. A forager's camp would give me a lot of stuff, though. Do I want to build human houses? Oh. Probably fine. Okay. I should already have a harvester's camp. This is a Forager's camp, which is different. There are like lots of different types of camp. I don't know, it's weird. You need six more people. Oh, this is gonna mess up all of... Oh my god, there's micromanagement here, isn't there? How many humans are living in these houses? This is brutal. <laughs> How do I know? How do I know where to build the different things? Oh no. Alright. One, two, three. There are three there. So if I built two of them there, it would for sure not reduce the population of the neighborhood. There's two here. So I'll build two here as well. And then I'll build, build, sorry, I'll build one there. There's one here, presumably. Oh, there's three here. So this is gonna bring the population of this neighborhood down by one, which is okay, that's fine. You can move this whenever you want though. 
It's kind of weird. Hey, Lasarian. It's time for the clearing. All of my resolve has gone down a lot for some reason. It's because I'm working on this, huh? But I have amber. Why are you leaving? No, don't leave. This is going to be done 30 seconds into the storm at the moment. Oh shit, like, we're upset actually. I don't think the impatience will matter. Need for clothing still not fulfilled because I still can't make coats. I still need to do building materials. Planks should be my priority here. I think I need another worker in this as well. More roads. Hello! Planting crops is 25% faster. A small farm plantation. I could take those out of the pool. Um, what else should I buy? Is there stuff that I would like to sell? Hey, bars. Good to buy a forest hostility. My resolve got worse because I have 40 amber now. Uh, I'm good with... Buying this stuff, I think. Plantation, a small farm. Small farm seems good to have. Hunting crops is faster. This is fine. Alright. I should have bought the... I don't... I don't... Why? Why did I... <laughs> <laughs> Jorbs think was your third most used emote of the year. Nice. Jorbs bird is usually the most used emote in this channel. That is the people's favorite. I have 37 tool. What should I do with my 37 tool? It takes a minute 30 to do. Which means that for like a minute, I'll be taking an extra minus 12 resolve from it. Questionable choice. This is also going to up the hostility of the RST. So. Carpenter OP. That's what I've learned this round. This carpenter just like run the, won the run by itself. Duckberg thinks the 28 months. Unlike real life, you do a lot of Jorbs think on Twitch. I would recommend against thinking. I just, I think there are better things to spend your time on. Trapper's camp has no deposits nearby. Wow, it didn't take long to get through all that meat, honestly. There's some here? Oh, I didn't even go to that meat yet. Okay. We've been doing Advent of Code involves thinking. You can confirm thinking is tiring, don't do it. Is Advent of Code like a different coding problem every day? That sounds fun. I 
at all the bricks that I have? That's just instant, huh? I didn't need to do that. Okay. These people are upset about something. They are upset because I have made too much fabric. Wait, I can make a new training gear. Oh shit. I should... Did I make the tavern yet? It is in process. I can actually brawl indefinitely. <laughs> I can brawl indefinitely here. Love that for me. Reeds? Let's make it out of reeds. And I have so many reeds that I haven't um, harvested yet. But I can't build a harvester's camp. Oops. Uh, I will prioritize reeds though to like use them up. And then we'll use planks. I need more planks. That building is going to make me angry. We're at 62% on the hearth corruption. That seems like a big number maybe. Final order. 50 stone roads. Didn't I already do that? I feel like I already did that. I feel like I already did that. Yay, I won. Minus 24? This shit just happened. I mean, I know there's like you know, a storm and shit. That's unreasonable. Minus 12. Still kind of unreasonable. Why are they so upset? Why do you have to be so mad? A beaver house. A lumber mill? Better planks? Eh. I don't think I ever really got any copper bars. Better bricks, I don't care about pottery. I might just take the beaver house. Do I care about beavers? Maybe I will take a lumber mill. This will be a better way to make planks and my other thing can focus more on tools. Look at all these blight cysts. There's no safe way to destroy it. Craftsmen, workers move 20% faster. Workers have 25% chance of doubling production. That's weird. Right? It's kind of weird. Something just happened and now we're happier. I don't know what it was. I did a glade event, I did this glade event. Oh, that's why we were so low. Sure, that makes sense. I also went up one hostility when that happened. Okay, now we're actually just at zero. I can favor you and we're completely fine. Uh, cool. Not much to do there that I know of. Where's my next scary thing coming from here, maybe? Probably. This is one of the most casual runs that I've had of this game. You should shuffle shuffle! What happened to Skynet bot? I need to buy a new motherboard for that computer. To turn it back on again. And I haven't done it yet. There have been other things to do, like literally anything else in the entire world. <laughs> like spending my time enjoying myself. Things like that. I don't even need preferential treatment for them anymore. Let's build the light post and see what it does. Oh, I can't. Okay, so that's important to note. So I need to watch out for this because if it gets to 100%, I will lose the game. And it's actually kind of close to 100% right now, right? Kind of a little bit close. 
All right. So production buildings are a bit scary. Noted. I could accept this and then I'd have enough parts to build the blight rod thing. So. Sure, done. More people? Lizards, human? Lizards are at 21 resolve. Ridiculous. Let's go lizards then. They are making me 0.3 reputation per minute. How do I... I should favor them? I should favor them. I should build skewers. How have I not done that yet? Can I have the ability to do that? Just never built a cookhouse. I need bricks, which means I'm gonna have to turn this on again, because this is the only way I have to make bricks, I think. I should turn my woodcutter's camps on again. Because if I run out of wood, I will actually just lose the game. I don't really know where to put this, though. Ooh, go to the super scary one. Let's go to the super scary one. Uh, and then I have another woodcutter's camp. Oh, I never put people in it. have another 13 workers. I am concerned that I'm not going to have enough food, so maybe time to build some farms. Not having enough food doesn't cause everyone to starve, it just makes them all very upset. And hungry. So I say thanks for the 31 months. I don't have any interest in Dwarf Fortress now. How's it going, Nordexa? Uh, coats? I needed. There's also a guild house here. A small part of the amber that goes through each guild should be repaid to support the locals. Gain a stack of wealth effect every time you sell goods worth of 60 amber. The bonus will be added retroactively. Okay, that seems better than coats, by quite a lot. Provisioner, I already have one of those. Forager's camp. Need a harvester's camp still. Still can't make that. Brewery. Sure, why not? I'm not going to actually build it, but why not? Guildhouse wants a lot of planks. Let's take this and make it a neighborhood. So I will need that and that and another three inhabitants. Wait, everybody's already in the houses. Because they all went here to the empty. So I just move this here then. That's gonna be a neighborhood soon. This one could also be a neighborhood if I moved another three people out of here to it. Oh, but I only have two spare. So not quite. 0.43 reputation per minute. The lizards are happy. Am I okay with people dying my book only to support me as a streamer content creator, or would I like them to buy it because they're interested in the book in particular? I'm not trying to apply anything here, just feel like creating new kinds of things being popular and something else is hard. 
anything can cause mixed feelings. I have no idea. I just wanted to put a book out in the world. And people can respond the way that they would like. One harvester's camp, please. Do I not have harvester's camps unlocked? Do I already have them unlocked, but I didn't build them? What's going on? <laughs> what is happening? I already have them, and I just didn't build one. <laughs> this is... This is perhaps my brightest moment. All right. What does the bathhouse do? 25% faster production. Villages with low resolve will leave the town slower. Cleanliness, cosmetics make cleanliness. I don't think anybody cares about cleanliness here. This is religion and education. Let's take a temple. Build one of those two. Okay. What is even happening right now? I'm... I'm about to open this. Okay, that'll get me something to do. My lizards are gaining me run-winning reputation every minute. Go, lizards, go! I think that, like, next cycle... Okay, I'm a little bit worried about food, maybe? When I said food, what I, what, okay, that's probably confusing because I just said food out loud and I have tons of food. I'm a little bit concerned about fuel for the fire because I'm starting to use more and more wood, it feels like. I never put anybody in the lumber mill, which is perhaps my greatest achievement in my entire life. Harvester's camp specifically starts advanced. Look at the impatience, it's at zero. Zero! I wonder how much longer I get reputation for this. I wish it told you. Reputation threshold is at 22. Gained reputation is one. If I like mouse over it, will it update at some point? It's gonna like take a minute, right? It's a long time. I'm missing everything. In my weaving, I am making training gear. Let's make fabric and stuff. That's a house. This place is making bricks in theory. It's also making one more brick every time. Okay. I've just like, I've gotten a bit big for my britches here maybe. Lizards are good at this. I've tried to make many, 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 many things, uh, and maybe there are too many things. Can we make horse glue again? That's Minecraft? Different game. Different game, but good idea. I'm about to make a cookhouse, which will give me skewers made from meat. And I don't know. I don't know. Everything, I guess, is everything. I cannot make biscuits right now. I don't need to make pigment. I wish it would tell me when I'd finished constructing something so I could staff it because like, I do have, no, I don't have the ability to make flour. 
Like, there was a farm I started building up here, like, seven years ago, which I never put anybody in. Um, for example. Like, I'm just going to forget this stuff, because I'm expanding too fast, you know? I'm into a new clearing. That's cool, I guess. I have another blueprint available. I don't honestly know... what I need to do with that. Feels like I'm getting, like, every big building at the same time. Temple's there. There was a guild house I was building over here. That's on its way. Oh, this turns wine into luxury, and I presumably have a lot of wine. So I'll have luxury, which is good for the beavers, but nobody else cares about luxury. Beaver house. Passive Ancient Ways. Lizard clans, all camps reduce 100% more yields. Bonus does not affect woodcutter's camp. Seems pretty good then. Um, I just take Beaver House. I'm running out of wood. None of these are that incredible. I'll take the clan hall and just not build it right now. We've got lizards like luxury as well. Lizards like religion and brawling. Relatable. Let's put void glades on these. Thank you. Can I harvest these yet? Oop. For Jorbs, top 1% of chatters. Hours watched 203 messages sent, 647 emotes sent, 10. What were the 10 emotes? That's such a reserved number of emotes. Now I need threshold at 29 to gain further reputation from lizards. I need another 5.25. How to 5.25 reputation. I think probably humans go off next turn. Everything is on a void glades, right? More stone. Slightly limited. That house is really annoying. I'm hungry. Perhaps instead of ah. Uh the laundry. I will do the having food. These need reputation threshold 30. The second that I staff... Okay. The guild house is done. I need workers for it, though. Oh shit, I have so much money. Builders construct buildings faster. Don't care. Don't care. Reputation 0.5. Into it. Um, I would like to sell all of this shit, and I would like to buy all of this shit. Infused tools? That's fancy. Sure. Them. I would like to sell you all this shit again. I didn't actually want it, it was a trick. <laughs> I, have, I have too many of these. I have way too many of these. There is no reason to have... Like, honestly, I don't really need any of these. Give them away. I will have some oil, please. 
And some, I don't know, barrels, maybe? What do I need to make in sunsweats? I need those for something, I feel like. Maybe I'm just buying everything. I may just be buying everything. Oh, bricks. I need bricks. Probably running out of stone. House smelter, provisioner. Oh. Any of this do anything? Beaver house might be the only thing that does anything. Not sure that I actually want it, but at least it does something. Let's build another lumber mill? No, surely not. I don't. I'm not actually running out of lumber, I don't think. Humans will love me if I tell them they're the best around. True, I'm gonna wait until after the next storm though, and then I'm going to favor them after the next storm. And I think uh, somewhere I built, that looks like it, the temple. And this will give religion. Religion and education. Religion's the one I actually care about though. And those two things added together should do it. I need a human house, it looks like. Exactly one human house. I have 97 jerky. I have 102 jerky. That is more than I need. Where am I making jerky? Ooh, we're at 88% on this. Did I ever staff this? I did. Alright, so these are going to kill the cysts. Where are they? Where are my firemen? Oh! 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 What's happening to it? this one? Is it gonna like pop or something? This isn't gonna be gross, is it? Oh! Okay, now it says 72%. Okay, that helped pretty quickly. But that'll fill up again. Forest hostility. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't matter very much, does it? Too strong. The hostility would be a lot stronger if I didn't get whatever broken cornerstone that was. Protected trade. Protected trade has given me minus 255 forest hostility so far. Seems good. I might lose a bit burn. Feels less good. I'm doing this largely out of stubbornness. The goal of the game is to increase this bar all the way. Which I am going to be able to do shortly. Let's get just a little bit too big. The game, like before you won, there's just a little bit too much. Humans are already at 31. And then I'm going to grab some new people. I need meat, I think. And throw them in here. And humans are going to be even happier. I can also man the guild house, which will give me even more resolve. We're at 36 now. One beaver resolve for every 70 wine produced. I wonder how much wine I've produced. It's not retroactive. It's too bad. I thought this would be faster. 
Two six per minute. All right, what does this do? Harmony Spirit Altar. All species become less resilient. Resolve drops 500% faster. Do not care. Do not care even a little bit. Have some of these. Have these? Have these, actually. I could salvage it for incense, or I can convert it into a thing that adds two to global resolve. Sure. I still think that the zoom off, the zoom out is necessary. I think it would be nice to be able to zoom out further, yeah. If I had the ability to zoom out further, I could just like not move around the map, honestly. There just isn't much reason to move around the map that much. Kind of frustrating having to like zoom around all the time. It's still only plus 0.29. I wonder if that's because they're not the main species in the city. I have 13 of them, but that is not like that many, I guess. I don't know. Who should I drop? I don't really need carpenter stuff anymore. I already got all the tools that I'll ever need. So these can be workers. Works for me. Why oh, is this a cellar? Use wine. I don't care, I don't think. I could pick these up. Lizards are also making me reputation. What? Lizards! Holy shit, calm down. 0.63 per minute. You're unsure if it's based on their raw numbers or the percentage in the village. I feel like last time I had like 13 humans and I was getting way more than this, but maybe I had more humans than that. I'm getting a reputation every minute and there's another, um, there's another six minutes before the storm starts and there's not that much reason why I would stop having this much reputation game. I guess eventually, well, geez, the reputation threshold in these is 30 right now, so I have another 15 that I'm above. I don't know, that's kind of messed up. I'm going to hit 3x and assume that I win pretty soon. Oh my god, even the beavers are happy. Everybody's happy. I should do this, I guess. <laughs> Alright, I'm getting 1.33 reputation per minute. Fulfilling the higher order needs seems real good. Yeah, yeah. Kind of a little bit good, huh? New Citadel upgrades. An artisan lets me produce coats, pigment, and barrels. I haven't worked out what pigment does yet. I think it makes luxury goods. It's the only thing I know of, I think. Oil, flour, luxury goods, a monastery, religion, leisure. Also affects the green brew. Don't know what that is. Suther the Ancient. Luxury items, crafting materials, blueprints for alchemical buildings and parks. Exploration expedition. Took some of the best explorers from the smoldering city with you. Got a constant minus five penalty to global resolve, but plus 15 to global resolve for five minutes every time a new glade is discovered. The constant flow of goods keep your villages distracted. Boost global resolve by three for 60 seconds every time you finish a fate. Duration stack. Duration stack? What is? What is duration stack? Like I can get the perk twice? I don't understand. What's this? We have discovered barren lands. The soil is too acidic. There's no fertile soil anywhere in this region. And this has gears or whatever, and an ancient battleground. You start with 50 extra hostility. But this gives lots of stuff. You remember me playing Banished? I don't remember me playing Banished. Are you sure you remember me playing Banished? I mean, it's possible that I did and have just forgotten. <laughs> the end game buildings are kind of wonky in this game because the resources to make things like parts, amber, and infused tools are surprisingly easy to get. 
The end game buildings are kind of wonky in this game because the resources to make things like parts, amber, and infused tools are surprisingly easy to get. I don't know what that means. Carl crew. A pipe elbow. Soon I will unlock first steps by winning three games. Maybe, if I win the next one. Uh, I don't have any of these yet, so I'm a little bit limited in what I can do. Still can't do this stuff. What is this? It allows you to pay Amber to reroll blueprints offered to you each year. Okay. I feel like I'm being offered so many blueprints that doesn't really do much. 10% more Citadel resources when you finish the settlement. Eh, whatever. Extra embarkation point. See more of the world map at the beginning of the cycle. You can venture one field further. I don't really need that right now. Allows you to establish trade routes with other nearby settlements. That seems like an important thing to do. Let's do that. Find out what this is. An extra embarkation point. These ones are cheap, so we can do that. And a permanent plus 2% to burning duration for all types of fuel burned in the heart. I don't think I'm taking stone or clay, so I don't really need that right now. These are both 24, so I could buy two of those, or I could... All traders will have another cornerstone or blueprint for sale. That seems kind of strong. I feel like this is a pretty sweet base stat. I feel like this base stat is better than the others. I wonder if that's additive or multiplicative. Like, um... For something that has a 40% chance to be produced, I wonder if it goes to 41% or goes to 40.4%, because that would make it very different. You can start with a herbalist's camp. You can start with a small farm. You can start with a plantation or a herb garden. A scroll delivery line. Incense delivery line. Embarkation bonus? Wait, isn't that kind of strong? They just give you incense forever? It seems kind of good. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. You still spend embarkation points on those. Yeah, but like... I don't know. Maybe the early game is a bigger deal at higher difficulty than I'm realizing. Look at all my... Oh, look at all my cute buildings! That one's making smog. That's maybe not a great thing. I don't know about that. They cost five or six points. Oh, that's a lot. Okay. Okay, I didn't realize that. Um, 22, 22 cogs and 22 other things. Do you think I can handle this at Ascension 2? Ooh, harpies. Nine harpies. What I understand about harpies is that they have low base resolve and leave very quickly. So, I don't know, should I go all in on them? <laughs> Maybe it's not the best choice right now. Questionable. This one has 10, this one has 11. What's the summary? Oh, we go Prestige 2. Blight Rot has a stronger impact. Okay. So I will have to build the Blight Rot building a bit faster, maybe. You lost things for the two years! Appreciate it. Yeah, Slave Relics is really nice, Scotty. Hey, Perlimpo. Start with 50 hostility. Trees give more wood. Oh, trees give more wood is so strong. OK. 
Okay, I'm not too worried about this. That's like super, super bonkers strong, it feels like. Yo, lizards. It feels like the last one I won, like nothing mattered at any point. Which was honestly a bit concerning. I don't know. <laughs> I, I would prefer that it felt like things mattered. I don't know. I wonder if vegetables are less filling or something. Why does it cost one to get 30 vegetables and it costs one to get 20 of these? Sounds like a late game so Yeah, but it felt that way right from the start. And I'm not sure why it felt that way right from the start. Maybe just I'm getting better at the game and understanding things better. Probably. I just need to be playing on a higher difficulty, probably. 